Bischoff hosts in the World Series, the All-Star Game, the Midsummer Classic here at Globe Life Field in Arlington, Texas. Both lineups are loaded. The American League obviously a little bit deeper, but each pitcher is going to have their hands full. Well, Texas has kind of been the center of the baseball universe over the last year, and once again, it is the place to be. The All-Star Game comes up next. Corbin Burns, after six seasons in Milwaukee, traded to Baltimore this offseason, and John, the Orioles hope that they have an ace right here that can help get them over the top. Yeah, he's been awesome for Baltimore. He, he has been what everything that Baltimore wanted. His challenge? Everybody's challenge. Mr. Otani. Cattell Marte climbs in at the All-Star Game for the first time in five seasons. Hits one on the ground, fielded on one hop to his left, Guerrero, and the first baseman flips to Burns, covering, and there is one down. And here comes Shohei Otani, who in his first season with the Dodgers has continued to push the limits. On track to be another MVP, even though he's only a DH this time. The payoff. Otani takes the walk and is the first base runner of the game. And Trey Turner, who's having a monster season for the Phillies, climbs in. Swings at the first pitch, flies it to center field. There's Aaron Judge. And there's out number two. So from one Philly to another at the plate is Bryce Harper. Look for Bryce to be a little aggressive here in the first inning. Harper swats a base hit down the line. Quan over to cut it off. Otani chugs into third. Harper's to second with a two out double. So Bryce Harper in his first at bat in the All Star game in a long time has a double. Two strikes, takes this pitch away and goes away. Just kind of slaps at it. Bounce back to the mound. Burns has it and he pitches around a couple base runners to put up a zero and get this All Star game rolling. One year after he was drafted, two months after he makes his major league debut, Paul Skeens starts the All Star game. I can only imagine his heartbeat. He's been in big moments in college, so it's not like he's come from high school to this point, but he has electric stuff. It's just fun to watch him pitch and dominate. And we were going to see him against one of the top contact guys in the American League. There is that four seamer at 100 miles per hour popped into shallow center field and an easy one for Trey Turner for the first out faces a guy who won rookie of the year last year and is an MVP candidate this season and Gunnar Henderson is tapped in front of the plate and the cadet hops off of the mound and fires it down there for round number two. Well he's throwing fuel. <laughs> <laughs> see right here selfishly I want to see a four seam fastball. Mono y mano go after one of the best in Soto. Speaking of problems Paul Skeen just starting the all star game. You're going to face in the first inning. You might face me hitting fourth. I made sure he faces. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be pretty cool. I'm, I'm really you know cross my fingers that it doesn't happen but. Uh, hoping for a one two three inning but it could be worse. There's ball four. I think they crossed him up. That might have been a strike but he crossed him up. Baseball gods did it. Look at this pitch. He he throws it right there and just missed it. <laughs> and he points to Judge and says I got you big fella. Here's the matchup that folks are dreaming of. Paul Skeens against Aaron Judge. Chops the first one that he sees down to ball and will go the short way to finish off this inning. We got to see it and Skeens made it a short visit. Libby loves it and America probably starting to love this guy right here. Tarek Skubal comes on to pitch. 241 ERA for the Detroit Tigers leads qualifiers in the American League. Gets under this one and in right center field. Judge and Soto come together. It is Soto and it's a one two three second for Skubal. Now the Phillies best record in baseball. They've got eight of them here at the All Star game. We've got three of them with us. We're trying to lock in those earpieces and those microphones. Guys, now that the PA has music has died down, can you hear us? I got you. I I'm, got, I got I'm you good. <laughs> I'm looking around like, I, got, I think I got it. Well, we got you guys. Oh. Cracked in the air. Alec, that's you. Oh. You all right over there? It's a high railing. <laughs> So we got eight Philly All-Stars, including three starting infielders. How much fun are you guys having, Bryce? Uh, it'd be funner if one of our starters wasn't on the beach right now. <laughs> <laughs> Had to I'm give him a kidding. hard time. It's been a blast, man. It's been so much fun. I mean, we, we got such a great group of guys, man. We just have a blast together, so it's been good. Pitch, Alvarez takes ball. ball four, headed down there towards Bryce. Bryce, I couldn't believe it's been a while since you played in one of these. Yeah, a couple of years getting hurt and things like that, but... Uh, Really, really enjoying this one, man. I've got kids now, enjoy it with them, and my family, and my wife, and just everybody, man. It's been a lot of fun. Alec, uh, it is your first All Star game. How's the experience been for you? It's been a blast. Uh, just being able to do it with all the guys on the team, too. It's been a lot of fun. 
Ramirez flies this ball to center field to Oscar Hernandez for the first out of the second. Trey, I hope you guys are being inclusive of Cattell Marte. Probably feels a little left out there. You know, you got you got these three Phillies around you. You, you got to share any inside jokes with Cattell or anything? That's a loss, but I heard inside jokes, and I want to be a part of that. Up the middle. Okay, nice diving stop by go. Trey. <laughs> are you kidding me? I love that. Hey, let's go! How's that belt feel? That belt is brutal. That's why I don't wear these things. <laughs> <laughs> I need my little league belt back. <laughs> well, it officially is the greatest play by a player who has wore the mic. Turner gets that yeah. and tosses it to second. This one's a little easier. Doesn't matter what kind of belt you got on, right? All right, so scoreless top of the second inning. Appreciate you guys wow. joining us. So the Yankees spent much of the first half with the best record in the American League, of course, led by Aaron Judge and Juan Soto, and both those superstars in the field right now. Both of us, or both of them joining us as Profar hooks one down the line. And fair ricochets to Soto, who will hold him to a long single. Hey, nice play, Juan. Dale. That's what I'm talking about, baby. We're having a lot of fun here. Hot shot oh. that ricochets off Simeon to Henderson, who has no play. Everybody's safe. Aaron, what do you think oh. about Shohei Otani? Man, it's incredible. You know, what he does year in and year out. And then you think about this year where he's recovering from Tommy John surgery and he's hitting 316, 30 homers. It's just uh, incredible. It's a ball hard, way back to right field. Soto doesn't even move. Otani has homered in the All-Star game. 28 so far in the regular season. And in his second at-bat in the All-Star game, he launches a no-doubt three-run home run. Well, he is so strong, so tall, and has leverage with that bat in the zone. I believe he gets a split in the middle of the plate and didn't miss it. And he stood there and knew right away that was gone. Everybody in the park knew it. It traveled 400 feet, came off the bat at 103.7. Reaction. We got you guys' reactions. Simeon leads off this bottom of the third for the American League. Logan Webb is on the pitch. Hard to believe that this is his all star debut because he has been the pillar of the Giants for a while. Shoots on the other way. Base hit to open this third. Marcus Simeon, really the tone setter of their turnaround the last couple of years. Chops one to first. Harper with a nice backhand stab. Runs to the bag to get the first out. That was not an easy play. He has been spectacular at first. I don't know if we'll ever see him back in the outfield. Um, here's the Yankees' Juan Soto. First pitch. He sends this one up the middle. It's going to get through into center field. It will score Simeon. It will score Quan. Soto digs for second. He's in there with a double as he takes advantage. And it's 3-2 now, National League. Well, it just seems like Juan Soto is made for New York, hasn't it? No, he's relishing the role. Now the Cleveland Guardians, David Fry, is now going to pinch hit for Jordan Alvarez. Fry's got a base hit to left field. Here comes Soto. Profar's throw is close, but not in time. And the game is tied at three. David Fry off of the bench to drive home Juan Soto. And a rarity, really, in an all-star game to see one team score three and the next team come right back and score three. It's Garrett Crochet. Two tough, hard-throwing left-handers he had to face in the All-Star game, and this guy can run it up there. As Tasker Hernandez goes down in a high fastball. And in the eyes of all the teams that are looking to think about acquiring at the deadline, Garrett Crochet, another one in the plus column with a punch-out. Shota Imanaga, the Chicago Cubs. This guy's made quite a first impression. Adley Rutschman, he is called out on the swing, and he looks down there at Bruce Breckman, he's like, Really? Like, We're in an all-star game. Yeah, it's like, let us play, let us play, man. It's Mason Miller, though, hardest thrower in the big leagues, averages 101. Yeah, he's got a great fastball and change-up combination and the highest swing and miss percentage of anybody in Major League Baseball. You're getting a little extra charged up here facing Otani. And strikes him out. Boy, you got 102 with the fastball, and then you break that off. Good luck. It's just an easy velocity and easy spin that he has on his secondary pitches. Trey Turner bats now. Miller's first pitch misses down, and he starts him off with a fastball uh, that I had at a 103.6 miles an hour. Is that yeah, is that, that right? That's that's what it said. Um, Turner, this would be another great interview of these guys that faced Miller and be like, so what did you think? 
What did you see? I didn't see anything. I, I actually didn't. I felt it, though. <laughs> I did feel it. 2 1 on the way from Miller. 102.3. Swing and a miss from Trey Turner. But he's also throwing it on the corners. That's, yeah. that's what's really <laughs> amazing about it. Here it comes. It is the slider to the corner to get him looking. Mason Miller with a 1 2 3 inning against the top of the National League lineup in his All Star debut. Well, the crowd, you can hear it in the background because another one of their players. Corey Seager has stepped in. Of course, went in to play shortstop for Gunnar Henderson. This is hit hard, right center field. Hernandez going back. Corey Seager just misses it. Wow! <laughs> Gave it a ride to the 410 sign in right center field, and it dies in the glove of Teoscar Hernandez. Well, that one off the bat looks scary for a pitcher, and you see Green looking up, hoping that he sees the uh, front jersey of. Hernandez and not the back of his jersey. Anthony Santander in his All Star debut rips a base hit into right field. And Anthony Santander gets a little two out single on a ground ball past Harper and into right field. Duran, who went into play center field for Aaron Judge, the Red Sox athletic center fielder, now pass. Here's a high fly ball off of the bat to Jaron Duran. That one will leave the yard and give the American League its first lead of the night. Boy, this dream season for Jaron Duran continues here with a home run in the All-Star game. There's a man that has power and speed, a lot of speed. The Boston Red Sox got really athletic with their lineup. It's why they're succeeding, and he's going to be a huge part of the success in the second half. When he gets on base, look out. Tonight at Globe Life Field, and in unison with fans and supporters watching at home, we deliver a powerful message as we join our partners Stand Up to Cancer and MasterCard in reaffirming a commitment to the fight against cancer. Major League Baseball, together with our fans, players, coaches, and umpires, are united in our determination to defeat this disease for our friends, our families, and our communities. We all stand together. One of the best hitters of this generation, a model of consistency, model of reliability. Bounces this one to first. Josh Naylor goes down to second for one. Wh whips this one over to first, but off of the bag was Naylor. Hey, we got a replay review in the All-Star game. So what's your call? Out. Out. After you, the call on the field is overturned. The runner is out. The All right. Well, it might have hurt, but it pushed his foot to the bag, and it's a double play. Front of the late innings we go. On to pitch, Seth Lugo, the Kansas City Royals, having an excellent season, and he's on to face the eye-popping talent. The all-star debut of Ellie De La Cruz. He shoots one into center field. That'll get down, and we get to see De La Cruz on the bases. He throws on the brakes as Jackson Merrill fires, or as... Jared Duran fires that ball back in, and he's got the Reds fans fired up. He's got baseball fans fired up with him on base. He lines the ball the other way that hangs up for Riley Green to make a nice play on. Locking in, sliding on the turf. Here's Brian Reynolds, who's an all-star for the second time. And he's got an opposite field base hit. Reynolds doesn't wait around. None of these hitters are. Very aggressive against Lugo. De La Cruz at second, Reynolds at first, the tying run. The one two pitch got him with a high fastball good fastball up a lot of breaking balls a lot of balls that he spins but he gets the fastball above the barrel and this guy at the plate has single handedly kept the Braves offense afloat what a year he's had already in the first half has been thrilled watching him have the season he's had deep in the hole Bobby Wood Jr. shows off a cannon to finish off the top of the seventh. Middle of the seventh of this 2024 All-Star game. It's the American League five, the National League three. Look at what I got right here. Man, you got me jumping over there. Socks! It's not apple socks! That's what I told the guy. How you feeling? <laughs> Feel good. Having fun? I'm having a lot of fun. Hey, you know what? I was I was talking to the Yankee guys over there on the other side, and when you went to the moon, I started screaming, it's not Apple Sox, it's my boy. <laughs> Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Hey, good seeing you. Keep having fun, man. Keep having fun, kids. And a big hand for this guy, Kirby Yates, in his first season in Texas has been dynamite. Down quickly, though, as Yates strikes him out with that career-changing splitter of his. One-two from Yates. Back-to-back -back K's for Kirby Yates. Chops this one down to third. Paredes. 
Finishes off a one, two, three, eight for Kirby Yates. Uh, these Texas fans have seen that a bunch this season. They see it in the All-Star game tonight. You're talking about it earlier, John. One of the biggest reasons the Guardians are having the season they're having. You get it to the ninth inning done deal with Emmanuel Classe. Throws gas, spins it, hard to hit. He struck him out. 93 mile per hour slider. One gone in the ninth. Well, you also realize like just how hard it is to come in off the bench. It's a tall order to try to pinch hit basically off this guy. Chopper to second. Jordan Westberg to the outfield grass. Two gone in the ninth inning. Merrill bounces it gently in front of the plate. That is picked up fair. Tossed to first late. And a mistake there by Classe. Ball was rolling foul. Merrill's aboard and the National League has hope. Tie and run to the plate. Two gone in the ninth inning. Classe 0-2 is fouled into the glove for strike three. Good morning, good afternoon, and good night to the National League. The AL's back on top with a 10th win in the last 11 All-Star games. Well, we saw a little bit of everything. We saw power. We saw power arms. It looked really good for the National League after Shohei Otani hit the three-run homer, but then quickly the American League tied it right out in the bottom of the inning and never looked back. This guy was a seven-time All-Star, former All-Star game MVP. Let's hear from Michael Young, ladies and gentlemen. And Michael is here, as Joe mentioned, to present the Ted Williams MVP presented by Chevrolet. Michael, you want to do the honors? It's Jaron Duran from the Red Sox. What are you going to do with that? I mean, that, that's going to look nice in the office, I think, Jaron. Yeah, I'll probably end up giving it to my dad, and he'll put it in a nice place for me to hold for the season. What did this mean for you this whole weekend? Just to get to be here as an all-star for the first time, it's been your breakout year, and then to do that and hit the game-winning home run tonight. Honestly, I can't really put it into words right now. I'm kind of overwhelmed with emotions, but um, I'm just very thankful to be here and to represent the Red Sox is a, is a big honor. Take us into the mindset of the at-bat, right? You know you get an at-bat maybe two in an all-star game. What's your approach going to the plate? And when you connected, what are you thinking watching it go? I mean, I know he throws really hard, so I was like, all right, I'm hoping he throws me a fastball first pitch so I can see how hard it is. And then he just gave me a pitch to put a good swing on, and that's probably the first pitch I've ever pimped. The ting goes,